Shepard did everything right. More than we could have hoped for. Saving the Citadel, but leaving the Council to die. Humanity's place in the galaxy is stronger than ever. And still, it's not enough. Humans may control the Council, but Shepard remains our best hope. But they're sending him to fight Geth. Geth. We both know they're not the real threat. The Reapers are still out there. And it's up to us to stop them. The Council will never trust Cerberus. They'll never accept our help. Even after everything humanity has accomplished. But Shepard... They'll follow him. He's a hero, a bloody icon. But he's just one man. If we lose Shepard, humanity might well follow. Then see to it that we don't lose him. Disengaging FTL drives. Emission sinks active. Forward is green. We are running silent. We're wasting our time. Four days searching up and down this sector, and we haven't found any sign of Geth activity. Three ships went missing here in the past month. Something happened to them. My money's on slavers. The Terminus system is crawling with them. Picking up something on the long-range scanner. Unidentified vessel. Hmm. Looks like a cruiser. Doesn't match any known signatures. Cruiser is changing course. Now on intercept trajectory. Can't be. Stealth systems are engaged. There's no way a Geth ship could possibly- It's not the Geth. Brace for evasive maneuvers! Multiple hole breaches! Weapons offline! Somebody get that fire out!
Come on, Joker. We have to get out of here. No, I won't abandon the Normandy. I can still save her. The Normandy's lost. Going down with the ship won't change that. Yeah, okay. Help me up. They're coming around for another attack! Commander Shepard has been recovered. The Lazarus Project will proceed as planned. Outside stimuli, showing an awareness of his surroundings. Oh my God, Miranda, I think he's waking up. Damn it, Wilson, he's not ready yet. Give him the sedative. Shepard, don't try to move. Just lie still. Try to stay calm. Heart rate's still climbing. Brain activity is off the charts. The stats pushing into the red zone. It's not working. Another dose. Now. 
heart rate dropping. Staff's falling back into normal range. That was too close. We almost lost him. I told you your estimates were off. Run the numbers again. pistol doesn't have a thermal clip. It's a med bay. Keep your head down, Shepard. Shield yourself from the blast. Someone's hacking security trying to kill you. Look for a thermal clip for your pistol. Looks like they set up a barricade to try hold... Look out! We've been spotted. What is we need to get to the shuttles. Shepard, security mechs are closing in on your... Don't take any chances. Stay in cover while you take out those mechs. Firing. work in progress i just woke up you probably know more than i do right sorry about that i'm jacob taylor i've been stationed here for hostiles detected damn it things must be worse than i thought if miranda's got you running around i'll fill you in but we better get you to the shuttle first it's your station jacob i'll follow you first step let's finish off these metal bastards we're low on thermal clips but I'm a biotic. Just give the order when you want me to hit him with the good stuff. Combat system engaged. System engaged. Ready to get the hell off this station? What's the quickest way to those shuttles? Depends where the mechs are thickest. It's probably best if we... Check. Check. Anyone on this frequency? Anybody still alive out there? Hello? Wilson, this is Jacob. I'm here with Commander Shepard. 
Just took out a wave of mechs over in D-Wing. Shepard's alive? How the hell? Never mind. You need to get him out of there. Get to the service tunnels and head for the network control room. Roger that, Wilson. Stay on this frequency. Let's get out of here. You bet. We can get into the service tunnels through this door. We need to get off this station. I'm not going anywhere till soon. Should be some... Hopefully there's enough to get him up and moving again. Grab the metagel from the first aid station on the wall. <laughs> Thanks, Shepard. <clears throat> Never thought you'd save my life. I thought maybe I could shut down the security... We didn't device. ask what you were doing. Why do you even have security mech... Were you listening? I came here to try and fix this. Besides, I was You're shot. all strangers to me. Right, Shepard. Uh, forget you about Miranda. A bunch of mechs won't drop Miranda. What? There are only two possible explanations. She's either dead... Then why did you wake me up and warn me about the attack? Okay, maybe she's not a traitor. But that doesn't change the facts. We're here, she's not. We need to save ourselves. The shuttle bay is only a few... We can overload the camp... That's it. Let's get out of here. Okay, we took him down. But this is getting tense. Shepard, if I tell you who we work for, will you trust me? This really isn't the time, Jacob. We won't make it if he's expecting a shot in the back. If you want to piss off the boss, it's your ass, Jacob. The Lazarus Project. The program that rebuilt you. It's funded and controlled by Cerberus. I think I ran into Cerberus a few times while I was investigating Sarah. Some kind of pro-human splinter group, right? Well, that's what the Alliance wants, people. The Alliance declared you dead. Once we're off the station, I'll take you to the elusive man. He'll explain everything. I promise. I don't care what they did or what you say. I'm not working with terrorists. You can tell it to the boss. But after we've saved up. We've been spotted. Please reconsider your aggressive attack offline. have engaged offline. Through here. We're almost at the... Miranda, but you were... Dead? What the hell are you doing? My job. Wilson betrayed us all. I had a feeling Wilson was just looking for a chance to shoot me in the back. Good instincts. Some people are far too trusting to ever see that coming. Come on, let's grab this shuttle and get out of here. My boss wants to speak to you. You mean the elusive man? I know you work for Cerberus. Ah, Jacob. I should have known your conscience would get the better of you. Lying to the commander isn't the way to get him to join our cause. Well, since we're getting everything out in the open, is there anything else you want to ask before we go, Commander? I've had enough of this station to last a lifetime. Or two, in your case. Come on.
Before you meet with the elusive men, we need to ask a few questions to evaluate your condition. What, we have to do this now? We should have done weeks of testing to confirm the success of Project Lazarus. A few questions during the shuttle ride will have to suffice. Okay. Records show you were a spacer kid, raised mostly on one ship or another. You enlisted and won a medal fighting Batarians during the Skillian Blitz. Do you remember that? A lot of lives depended on me holding that position. I did what I had to. However you want to put it, it was damn impressive. I had friends who were there. Satisfied, Miranda? Almost. Let's try something more recent. Vermeer, where you destroyed Saren's cloning facility, you had to leave one of your squad behind to die in the blast. Lieutenant Caden Elenko was killed in action. It was your call. Why did you leave him behind? I left a friend to die that day, and I didn't do it casually. But I had to save as many people as I could. Caden gave his life for the rest of the team. Without him, I couldn't have stopped Saren. He died a hero. I understand, Commander. And I wasn't judging your decision. Everybody at Cerberus knows that cloning facility had to be destroyed. There are other tests we really should run. Come on, Miranda. Enough with the quizzes. The memories are there, and I can vouch for Shepard's combat skills personally. I suppose you're right. We'll have to hope the elusive man accepts our little field test as evidence enough. Elusive man. Unnecessary precaution. Not unusual. You might be the reason I'm still alive. You need alive. to put humanity is up against the Reapers. It. Good to see your memory's still intact. You I'll need to earn the right to ask Cerberus me isn't as easy. Cut to the chase. While you've been asleep, we believe you've seen it yourself. You bested all. Nothing you say is going to convince me. I'd to be trust disappointed you. if I could persuade. Miranda and Jay. Is this a volunteer job or am I being? You always bold? have a. Ch but first, find any clues you can. I brought you. We should be there shortly, Shepard. The elusive man put us under your command. Do you have any orders? Our first priority is to look for survivors. That's unlikely, Commander. No one was left at the other colonies. They were completely deserted. Be nice to find somebody. Anything's better than another ghost town. Looks like everyone just got up and left right in the middle of dinner.
strange. No bodies, no structural damage, no signs of battle. were disabled at the other colony. Someone reprogrammed them to attack on site. We're not alone here. Sabotage the system and the offense. I like force casualties. Battle systems engaged. <laughs> You'd let me handle this. Wait, Shepard? I'm not taking any chances with Cerberus operatives. Put those weapons down! Shepard? Is that. you're alive? Cerberus rebuilt me, Tally. In return, they asked me to investigate these attacks on human colonies. You'll pardon us for not taking you at your word, Cerberus. We're well within our rights to investigate attacks on a human colony. I'd like to know what the Quarians are doing here. Weapons down, Praza. Whatever's going on here, I don't think we need another fight. One of our people was here on pilgrimage. His name was Vitor. We came to find him. Isn't that a little strange? A Quarian visiting a remote human colony? Quarians can choose where they go on pilgrimage. Vitor liked the idea of helping a small settlement. He was always nervous in crowds. She means that he was unstable. Combine that with damage to his suit CO2 scrubbers and an infection from an open-air exposure, and he's likely delirious. When he saw us landing, he hid in a warehouse on the far side of town. We suspect he also programmed the mechs to attack anything that moved. Vitor's the only one who can tell us what happened here. We should work together to find him. Good idea. You'll need two teams to get past the drones anyway. Now we're working with Cerberus? No, Praza. You're working for me. If you can't follow orders, go wait on the ship. Head for the warehouse through the center of the colony. We'll circle around the far side and draw off some of the drones to clear you a path. Make sure to keep in radio contact. Will do. Good luck, Shepard. See you on the far side. Be careful, Shepard. There's a squad of security drones up ahead. Thanks for the warning. We'll take care of them. They've seen us. Use overload on them. They did want to get to Vito first. Get your squad into cover and I'll open the loading bay doors. We'll take cover by the doors. Shepard, you take point. That 
Max got heavy armor plating. Those quarians never stood a chance. This is gonna be one tough son of a bitch to take down. Overlord will take out their shield. I've got him. Be right there. We can use this. Vitor? No, Vitor. Not here. Swarms can't find. Monsters coming. Have to hide. Nobody's gonna hurt you anymore. Have to hide. Have to hide. Who didn't find us? The... the monsters? The swarm. Why didn't the colonists fight back? You don't know. You didn't see. But I see everything. Looks like security footage. He must have pasted it together manually. What the hell is that? My god. I think it's a collector. I thought the collectors kept it themselves. They usually work through intermediaries, like slavers or hired mercenaries. If they're involved with the Reapers somehow, it could explain what happened to the colonies. The Collectors have advanced technology. They could have a weapon that disables an entire settlement at once. The Seeker swarms. No one can hide. What the happened Seeker? next? The monsters took the people on I think the that's ship. probably all we're getting out of him, Commander. We appreciate what you told us. I studied them. The monsters. We need to get this data to the elusive man. Grab the quarry and call the shuttle to come pick us up. What? Vitor is injured. He needs treatment, not an interrogation. We won't hurt him. We just need to see if he knows anything else. He'll be returned unharmed. Your people tried to betray us once already. If we give him to you, we'll never get the intel we need. Praza was an idiot, and he and his men paid for it. You're welcome to take Vitor's Omnitool data, but please, just let me take him. He's traumatized and he needs medical care. Tally will give us the Omnitool data and take him to the flotilla. Understood, Commander. Thank you, Shepard. I'm glad you're still the one giving the orders. Good luck out there. If I find anything that can help you, I'll let you know. We're ready for pickup. Shepard, good work on Freedom's progress. The Quarians forwarded their findings from Vidor's debriefing. You and I have different methods, but I can't argue with your results. Do you ever think about playing nice once in a while? Diplomacy is good, but more importantly, you confirm the Collector's Why do I get the feeling you knew about I had my sis- They periodically trap when their transactions are complete. Until now, we've had no evidence of direct aggression by the Collectors. You're holding something back. The patterns of the Consulate. I won't wait until the Reapers are on the march. We need to If this is a war, I've I'll already finding that I'll continue to track the collectors. When they make their next appearance, I'll notify you and your team. Be ready. Miranda and Jacob aren't enough? How many do you need to keep me in check? I've made it clear to Miranda and Jacob that you're in charge. You decide who joins your squad. Everyone else on this list was chosen specifically for this mission. They're the best. I'll do the best I can with what you've given me. I'm sure you will. Before you go, two things. First, head to Omega and find Morden Solus. He's a brilliant Solarian scientist. Our intelligence suggests he may know how to counteract the Collector's paralyzing Seeker swarms. I haven't even started and you're telling me what to do? I'm giving you direction. What you do with it is up to you. I'm sure you'll make the right decision. All right. What's the other thing? I found a pilot I think you might like. I hear he's one of the best. Someone you can trust.
Hey, Commander. Just like old times, huh? I can't believe it's you, Joker. Look who's talking. I saw you get spaced. Got Commander. Everything you stirred up, the Council just wanted it gone. The team was broken up, record sealed, and I was grounded. The Alliance took away the one thing that mattered to me. Hell yeah, I joined Cerberus. You really trust the elusive man? Well, I don't trust anyone who makes more than I do. But they aren't all bad. Saved your life. Let me fly. And there's this. They only told me last night. It's good to be home, huh, Commander? I guess we'll have to give her a name. Welcome aboard the New Normandy, Commander. I've been looking over the dossiers. I'd strongly recommend starting by acquiring Morden Solus, the Salarian professor on Omega. We know the Collectors use some type of advanced technology to immobilize their victims. We'll need him to develop a countermeasure to protect us. Without that countermeasure, we'll be helpless if we ever run into the Collectors. Acquiring Professor Solus seems like the most logical place to start. Who are you? I am the Normandy's artificial intelligence. The crew like to refer to me as Edie. Helmsmen aren't happy when someone takes control of a ship away from them. Especially Joker. I do not helm the ship. Mr. Moreau's talents will not go to waste. During combat, I operate the electronic warfare and cyber warfare suites. Beyond that, I cannot interface with the ship's systems. I observe and offer analysis and advice. Nothing more. Now that we've got that sorted out, let's move on to these dossiers. Final preparations for takeoff are complete, Commander. When you're ready to go, just pick a destination from the galaxy map and the CIC and I'll plot a course. Jacob and I should return to our posts. Come find us if you have any questions. Welcome aboard, Commander. I'm Yeoman Kelly Chambers. I've been assigned as your administrative assistant. I'll manage your messages and help you monitor the crew. And I must say, it's such an honor to work under you, Commander Shepard. I'm glad to have you on the team, Miss Chambers. Please, call me Kelly. Okay, Kelly. Anything else? Do you have a moment to talk? I always have time for you, Commander. How do you feel about being assigned to the Normandy? 
I was handpicked by the Elusive Man to help fight the greatest threat known to humanity. How do I feel? Honored, exhilarated, terrified. But mostly I feel encouraged. Under your leadership, we can't fail. Don't worry. We'll defeat the Collectors. I trust you implicitly. The moment I met you, I knew I could close my eyes, fall back, and you'd be there. I might do more than catch you, Kelly. Now that's an enticing thought. Anything else you'd like to talk about? I better go. Okay. Maybe we'll talk later. Commander, what can I do for you? You have a minute, Miranda? No doubt you've got a lot of questions. Cerberus isn't as evil as most people believe. If I can help allay any of your concerns, I'd be happy to do so. So, what would you like to know? I know what we're doing here, but what's Cerberus's long-term goal? The advancement of the human race. Nothing more, nothing less. The Salarians have the special tasks group. The Asari have their legendary commandos for stealth and recon operations. Cerberus is humanity's answer to those organizations. But those organizations are regulated by governments. Who keeps Cerberus in check? Nobody. We're privately funded and our backers trust the elusive man to make the right decisions. But he's very clear about our goals. Protect humanity and serve its advancement. Are you military or political? Or both? Cerberus has several divisions. Political, military, scientific. But we're all working towards the same goal. We keep our ranks and structures similar to the Alliance. A lot of our recruits started there, but not all Cerberus operations use the same protocols. We try not to get bogged down in bureaucracy or formality. What kind of resources does Cerberus have? We're very well funded, though I doubt anyone other than the elusive man knows exactly how well. But our resources aren't unlimited. Reviving you and rebuilding the Normandy was a significant investment, and a significant risk. We're all hoping you can do the impossible, Shepard. No pressure. What can you tell me about the Elusive Man? Not much that you don't already know. Even I don't have access to most of his background. And you've seen more of him than most ever do. It's rare for him to become directly involved in missions, but you're something special. Whatever else people might say about him, I can assure you he's got humanity's best interests at heart. That includes you and me. How can you be sure of that if you know so little about him? I didn't get to where I am without knowing how to gauge people's motives and ambitions, even from brief encounters. He's no saint, and he'd be the first to admit it. But he is committed. Humanity couldn't have a better advocate. Tell me about yourself, Miranda. Well, I guess that's fair. I've spent the last two years learning everything there is to know about you. Well, you should probably know that I've had extensive genetic modification. Not my decision, but I make the most of it. It's one of the reasons the elusive man handpicked me. I'm very good at just about anything I choose to do. You certainly don't lack for confidence. It's just a fact. My reflexes, my strength, even my looks, they're all designed to give me an edge. No point in hiding from it. It's the reason I'm trusted to oversee the most dangerous, risky, and technically demanding operations Cerberus undertakes. And it's why I was assigned to you. It's my job to make sure you succeed, Shepard. What level of genetic modification are we talking about? That's very thorough. Physically, I'm superior in many ways. I heal quickly, and I'll likely live half again as long as the average human. My biotic abilities are also very advanced. For a human. Add to that some of the best training and education money can buy, and... Well, it's pretty impressive, really. You certainly don't lack for confidence. It's just a fact. It's the reason I'm trust, And it's why I was assigned to you. It's my what job. level of genetic It's very thorough. My biotic ab Add to that some of the best training and education money can buy, and... Well, it's pretty impressive, really. Sounds like you were designed to be perfect. Maybe. But I'm not. I'm still human, Shepard. I make mistakes like everyone else. And when I do, the consequences are severe. Everyone expects a lot from someone with my... abilities. Thanks for the information, Miranda. I'll talk to you later. Of course, Commander. Whatever you need. <laughs> 